friends. Hi, it looks like a lot of you are here already. Hello, Numberless Dreams, Carmen, hi, Drayton, Terry, Gemma, hello, Takara, Allie, Marissa. Hi, Steffers is here, hello. Oh, Mike is here, hello, Tim is here. Midori is here, we had a little bit of an adventure today. Hey, Anne is here, Leslie is here, hello. Hi. Oh, those of you who are in places that are very hot, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're staying cool. Oh, man. It's a, uh, hey, it's Deb. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. Terry says, loving almond, by the way, Re recommended it to a coworker. Thank you. Hey, Allie, it's great to see you. I hope you're feeling better. Um, I had to take Miss Midori to the vet today. Hi, are you saying hello to everyone? Here. I have to move some of my things so that so that she can properly like get up in front of the camera here. I've got uh, some mugs and papers. There will move my tea. I have some uh, some beautiful oolong tea tonight. Hi, you wanna say hi? Hi, Sarah. Hello, everyone. Oh, um, can someone help Leslie get on the Discord? Leslie is over in uh, over on Facebook and says, hey, can you tell me how I can get in on the Discord? Yes. Uh, one of our beautiful, beautiful mods will... Um, whew, one of our beautiful mods will invite you. Similarly, if you are another person who is not Leslie and you are not in our Discord, uh, let, let our mods know and they'll get you invited, they'll get you over there onto the Discord. <laughs> Hi, JC Fabs is here, hello. Ooh, Drake's having Irish breakfast tea. Oh, thank you. Be Hope Productions says, Hi, Midori, hope she's okay. Thank you, she's okay, she's just, She's just, she's just getting a little, she's getting a little old. She's getting a little old. Ooh, regular podcast work again for Allie. Yeah, you were in the ER on Thursday. Good. Yeah, modern medicine is amazing. Hey, Liliana's here. Hi. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, it's for Midori. It's just, it's just old age. We're, um, I did not know this. She, um, she has diabetes, and so I have to give her, I have to give her a shot twice a day, which is sort of traumatic for me. <laughs> um, yeah, how's everybody else doing? Oh, and then uh, let's see, Be Hope Productions would also um, like to join the Discord. Wonderful. Yeah, Forsaken Fallen says I would love some tea, but it is far too hot to raise my body temperature any higher. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I should probably not even be drinking this, but, um, it's quite warm here as well. Um, maybe some iced tea, some water, maybe hydrate first. Um, oh, really cool. Another poetry marathon in the books this past weekend. Nice. I have 24 poems for every, oh, over eight years, gonna gotta find some info on self-publishing. Sorry, that took me a while to like figure out how to read. <laughs> um, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. And you're gonna self-publish your book. I love that so much. I love it so much. I hope you do. There are uh, numerous people, sorry, you can't see my face. I'm getting a, yeah. Spill a little tea, and there's just cat hair everywhere. Uh, there's there's several people, uh, Jimmy and Takara, and several other people in the chat um, who have uh, self published poetry books before. Uh, so, if you are looking for some guidance, we've got some we've got some uh, folks who can help. Steffers, oh, Steffer says my Pitbull cupcake is the same. She's around 13, 14. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so old. Cupcake. The creakiness and very other various other ailments are for real. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Hey, Tim is here. Hi, Tim. 
Tim says, howdy all. I know, I love cupcake already. Cupcake. Oh no, asthma. I have asthma. <laughs> yeah, the weird thing is, is um, <laughs> Terry says everyone looks good in cat hair. Oh, oh, don't I wish. Hi, Anne is here. Hi, Anne. It's good to see you this week. Hello. Hey, Simply Wisty is here. This is fantastic. You're all fantastic. Ooh. Okay, I don't even know what this means, but Deb has found what looks to be like Tunisian crochet hooks. Need to try to make something, uh, try to use them. Any ideas? Interesting. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Drayton, that's awesome. I submitted a 2000, so Drayton says, I submitted a 2000 word sci-fi dystopian short story to a contest with a $20,000 prize. Heck yeah, Drayton. It was backed by Unbound, so I decided to go for it. Yeah, there was a little bit of a chat over in our Discord. Um, I'm trying to think if it was this week or last week. It might've been earlier this week about, um, you know, which contests are legit and, um, you know, should I be submitting to contests and like, what are the ups and downs of doing that? And there's just some really good discussion about it. Oh my gosh, Tim, you have a Corgi named Toast. Toast. I love it. See, as you can see, Midori's still like really athletic. She feels good, I think. Um, just, just not a hundred percent good. You want to say hi? Hey, she's just glaring. <laughs> you say, oh no, okay, we want down. Okay. Uh, let's see, hey, Jimmy's here, wonderful. Life happens, hey, Liliana, life, life happens, life happens. I had a um, another live stream that I do for my podcast now, course students, and um, I was still at the vet when that was scheduled to happen. And so life, life happens, life happens. So we're just glad you're here. Whenever you can make it, we're glad you're here. Oh, uh, let's see. Jimmy says, I tend to think that folks who look to me for guidance have run themselves out of way better options, including asking a slightly underripe banana. I'm told bananas give good advice with a lot of appeal. Oh my gosh, Jimmy. I'm giving you a look. I'm. I'm, I'm, I think I'm making eye contact with the camera. Wow. Wow. Oh, so apparently, uh, Deb, if you want to connect with Terry, apparently knows Tunisian um, is a thing. Oh, I haven't been here in ages. Well, it's amazing. It's amazing that you're here. I love that you're here. Ooh, and first night in your new Excuse me, that was rude. First night in your new place, cleaning disaster in progress. Is that what you're going to do? Like, are you going to do some cleaning tonight during our create along? Because that is a perfectly legitimate use of this time uh, is to settle into your new space. I hope it's good. I hope it's amazing. I hope that you're really, really happy there and it's beautiful and that you have a nice view if there's windows. I hope there's windows. Um, and I hope it's lovely. Oh, okay. Takara did hybrid publishing with a publishing company. Okay. Uh, Deb says, what color are Midori's eyes? They're bright green. They're like, um, they're just a really, you want to look up again? Can you look up? No, she says. Well, they're bright green. <laughs> she has very, very stunning eyes. Um, oh. Nice. Drayton, making back that money. I love it. Cost a dollar to enter as long as I cancel before next month. And I already made 10 cents on the reads. Just winning. Ooh, Allie, your trailer came out on YouTube. There's a video that uses the actor. Oh, oh, cool. And then the actor's voice colors for the visual side of it. What a cool idea. What a cool idea. Steffers, okay, so Jimmy, there's people here who are appreciating your 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 dad joke about the banana. So uh, you've brought Steffers great joy. 
<laughs> Sarah just says, stop it. Oh, Charlie says, pshaw, Jimmy. <laughs> I needed that pun, apparently. <laughs> you know what, though? We, we all need puns, don't we? We all need puns. It's life is hard if you don't have puns, right? Good. And you got your COVID vaccination. I'd love to hear that. Good. Oh yeah. Crocheting Terry says it's a perfect activity to do while listening to podcasts. Yes. Uh, Anne says, uh, I want to do some editing, but I'm probably just going to be getting everything cleaned enough to go to bed before I am dead. Uh -huh. I it's, mm -hmm. I had to take a nap before this stream. Um, I had uh, just just quite a day, and it's been quite a week. Um, I think I told you guys, you know, the the depression and the anxiety have been extremely real and very uh, oppressive. And so I went to the doctor, and they upped my meds. And I think the meds are finally starting to like kick in, which is really good. Um, so I, I, so I feel a little bit better, which is nice, but also just, it's still been kind of an overwhelming week already. Um, I had to take Midori to the vet today and I had, um, an unplanned, uh, phone call, uh, with some folks from LA about things that are moving forward, maybe with other things. Um, and it was just like, I just kind of felt like, uh, like a little, like a little, badminton thing getting batted back and forth between two rackets. What is that called? A shuttlecock? It's a funny word. So, so yeah. Oh, Jimmy, it's never too late to start. Remember? Jimmy says, I told myself this year I wanted to teach myself how to knit and how to play ukulele. Tomorrow's July 1st. And I haven't started yet. Oops. There's no oops. You've still got like six months. You've got half of a year. Tim learned how to knit. My partner, Tim learned how to knit in like a few hours. So like you've, you've got this easy. Make sure you're hydrating. Take good care of yourself, please. Uh, if you don't have a glass of water in front of you, go get one. Um, that part's non-negotiable. Please hydrate. <laughs> yes, Jimmy, or sorry, Charlie says bright green like her name. Midori is green in Japanese. Yes, yes. Apparently crocheting is one of the most relaxing things someone can do. Does knitting, is knitting, does that count? Because I've got like, I've got knitting needles and alpaca yarn and stuff in my closet here. If I If I were to do some knitting, is that relaxing? Very curious. <laughs> Puns and punishment derived from the same root. <laughs> yes, crochet is also great while listening to audiobooks. Yes. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, um, let's see. Funny science fiction. What? Really? Uh, so Jimmy Buys Jr. Uh, episode for Funny Science Fiction podcast will be out Monday. Took us long enough. It is also banana pun friendly. Drayton, I love that. Jimmy, you're just like in all the podcasts lately. Uh, those of you who haven't heard it, Jimmy recorded an episode of the Right Now podcast with me, uh, which you can find out at just, you know, the Right Now podcast. And it sounds like as of Monday, uh, look out for, it's called Funny Science Fiction. And I've, I've been a guest too, so you can listen to our episodes. Uh, Drayton and his team just have a great show. Um, so yeah, check it out. Jimmy, congrats, that's delightful. Sarah is getting that second COVID shot this Saturday. I love to hear that, I love it. My brother is in Ottawa in Canada and he is he just scheduled his second shot. So I'm like, I'm, I'm really happy for him. Steffers, yes. Casting call for Spectre. So Steffers is working on um, an audio drama called Spectre, uh, which you've kind of seen uh, Steffers working uh, here in our create along on over the last several, I believe even the last several months. 
It's, it's been months, yeah. Um, but Sefer says the casting call for Spectre was released this past Tuesday to the public. And after two days, I have more than 80 auditions already. Congrats. Wow. That's a lot to listen to. <laughs> I did not. That was not one of my favorite parts of audio drama creating. Like, I, I like every part of making an audio drama, like the writing and the music selection and the audio editing and dialogue editing. And there's just, there's some things that are more fun for me than other things. And I think, I think that's true for anybody. Like some people like the dialogue editing. Some people like the writing the best. Some people like, I guess, listening to all those auditions. <laughs> Bless their hearts, whoever they are. Um, and good luck to Steffers. Yes. Yes. Working on beta reading for Drayton, says Deb. I love it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Steffers says, I'm starting to think it was a mistake to make the casting call one month long. I may shorten it. I don't know. Allie, what do you think? Or any other podcasters in here? Do you think a month is too long for a casting call? I don't I don't know. I maybe don't think so. But I mean, you never know until it's like out there and you're like getting responses because, you know, you could, it, and it, I guess it depends on like um, how much like marketing you're doing for it and how much you're talking about it online and how many other people are like sharing it. So it might be, um, yeah, just keep an eye on it. It might, things might slow down. Um, or even Tim, if you want to weigh in on this too. Uh, Deb says, getting meds balanced is key. Yes, took him two years to get my meds balanced with my thyroid. Yeah. Oh, there's just so much. Woo, Annie's here. Hey, Annie. Black cherry tea tonight. Oh, you've got cooler weather this week. Oh, black cherry tea sounds beautiful. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, gosh, there's so much there's so much going on here in the comments. Um, Annie is working on the ghost story tonight. Got a story rejection with a send us more kind of comment. Oh, good. So better get working on the more. Um, Annie, that's fantastic. Those of you who haven't submitted before, there's like different levels of rejection that you can get and a rejection where they're not interested in what you're submitted and what you've submitted, but they're still interested in you and your work is really exciting. That's fantastic. Congratulations, Annie. Um, <laughs> Anne says knitting makes me angry. So maybe a little less peaceful for some people. Yes. Yes. Even watching people knitting is relaxing. It could involve swearing in your case, says Numberless Dreams. Oh, and occasionally snap the yarn. That is tension indeed. I don't think I've ever snapped. I, I struggle with breaking the yarn. I have to have a pair of scissors, but yeah, knitting makes me count, which stresses me. Yeah, it's, you have to remember what row you're on and how many things you are. Oh, Leslie says, I'm sorry to ask again, but where are all the people watching this live stream, if not on Facebook Live? Just signed up for StreamYard. Is this it? I want to see all these comments being posted. Oh, um, so we're over here. I'll just put a link. Can I do this? Can I put this link in here? We're at twitch.tv slash Sarah Ray Werner. So I'm going to put this here in the chat and then highlight it so that you can see it. But it is, it's loading very slowly. <laughs> it's loading extremely slowly. There we go. It is just twitch.tv slash Sarah Ray Werner. I'll put that up here. Oh, Mike is here. Damien is here. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So Leslie, if you want to hang out with us, we're just here. Twitch.tv slash Sarah Ray Werner. Um, just how it's, how my name is spelled. Damien's here. Hey, hi. Yes, and you can also get it through my website, which is sarahwerner.com. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Oh, Damien says, thanks, Steffers. Also, thanks for the social media love this week. I love to see you guys supporting each other. Um, that just <laughs> brings me a lot of joy. Uh, 
creating a community is is really hard to do. And when you get a community where people um, support each other and encourage each other, like that's a real community. And so I'm really grateful for you guys for doing that. <gasps> Tania, hi. Tania says, hello, it's been a long while, but I'm back this evening. I'm waiting for my turn for the shower after swimming with my kids, hoping to get to work on chapter one of my fantasy novel. Heck yes, Tania. Oh, I love to hear that. Oh, Forsaken Fallen's gonna do a restart and be back, yes. Anne is a third of the way through lesson three of the editing course, beautiful. Ooh, Sarah says, tonight I'm working on my cover letter for this editor's job I saw at a local university press. Congrats. Please do that. Please apply. Oh, yeah. Tim says we did three waves of auditions for two weeks each. That's right. We did like the first four, I think, main characters, a two-week window. And then we did another wave of like secondary characters, right, in a two-week window. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Sarah immediately will ask what Allie thinks. Well, I know that you've been uh, casting and working on this stuff. <gasps> Yay, off hiatus for Hannah Apocalypse. I love to hear that. Oh, congrats, Damien. I love it. You guys. Allie says, I found a month uh, for that casting call. So for Steffer's question earlier, Allie says, I found a month to be perfect. I also started listening to the auditions as they came in, which helped not make everything so overwhelming. I had to cast a few parts for Girl in Space. And I think I remember keeping a spreadsheet. And like, as they came in, I think I did the same thing. I think I listened as they came in and just kind of made notes in a spreadsheet. Um, <laughs> so yay, spreadsheets. Terry says, I'm hoping to wrap up my fourth episode rough draft. Yes, Terry. I have a magical quill that can't write. It can only draw pictures. I love this little character. Um, that sounds great. Hey, Marlon is here. Hey, Marlon. And Mike is here. Mike, I'm so glad to see you. How are you guys doing? How are you all doing? How are you doing? Ooh. Mike says, I'm going to read episode one of Spectre to edit tonight. I didn't know you were working on that. It's exciting. Hey, Salutation Studios is here. Hello. It is great to see you. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Deb says, I've made a few videos of how to crochet a few things for my friends. Drayton says I should post my videos, but I don't know. I made them for friends. I mean, Deb, that's up to you. It's up to you. And if if you just want to keep them for your friends, that's okay. But if you want to like find a wider audience, I mean that can be that can be fun as well. It kind of just it depends, it depends what you want. It depends what you want your reach to be and what you would want out of the experience. Um, yeah, there's a lot to think about there. Mike says, after more than a few weeks away, because my new job ate my time, I'm trying to figure out where the heck I am with my steampunk novel and where the heck I'm going. Mike, same. <sighs> Same. Uh, for the first time, uh, I let my partner and lifelong beta reader, Tim, uh, read episodes, re read my latest episodes of Girl in Space that I had written. And um, it's always really good to have somebody in your life who is just honest <laughs> and who you can trust and who won't just pat you on the back and say, yay, this is great. Like those people are good too. Like it's good to have some people, you know, who just pat you on the back and say, yay, this is great. Like it's, that's good for your self-esteem. Um, but Tim was like, Sarah, you can do better than this. And I knew, I knew that he was going to say that because I knew that I could do better than that. And I knew he was right. And so figuring out, and so his advice was, you need to figure out a little bit more where you're going uh, so you can get there like more intelligently. And so I have, you can't see it, but on my desk here, I have this, well, I'll hold it up, hold on. I have this like um, giant, giant pad of paper that I got um, when I was working at a bank. They had this beautiful thing in the basement where like they just gave stuff away that they were done with and it was just gonna like go to the dump. So I guess it was basically the dump for the bank. But anyway, I went there a lot because there was cool stuff to salvage. And I got this like giant pad of paper. And it's like, it's like one side's got like all these like numbers and columns, but the other side is like blank. 
and it's great for planning out novels and stuff. And I've got a Mission Rejected sticker on there. So if J. Michael DeAngelis is watching, you guys are great. Um, but I'm going to be doing some plotting for Girl in Space Season 2. <laughs> so, Mike, uh, you're not alone. You're not alone, and I'm here with you. Oh, let's see. Gosh, whenever I talk, a lot of comments come in. <laughs> No way, 600 auditions. Oh, it was too many. <laughs> that, is, that is officially terrifying, Damien. That's, that's terrifying. <gasps> nice! Tim, this is great. Tim says, I've officially started as a writer. I am now an editorial writer for an online podcasting magazine. So, yeah. I'm clapping for you because that's exciting. First issue and my how I began podcasting is in that issue. Time to start writing the new article, the new issues article. Odd uh, because I swear I would not ever be a writer. Yeah, that's how that's how life works, though. Kind of you kind of just like bounce into new things. Like if you keep your opportunities open, like you'll end up in some pretty weird places. <laughs> like how I ended up working in a bank and then how I ended up in marketing and then how I ended up self-employed and it's exciting. It's really exciting. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Steven <laughs> says, I see that you did casting calls, Sarah, rather than reaching out to the greatest voice actors of our time. I mean me, Steven, specifically. Harsh but fair. <laughs> it must have been tough. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard casting. Um, Damien says it's a huge blessing, but also a lot of work to go with open auditions and do it fairly. Yeah, it was also heartbreaking when someone you really want to work with auditions but doesn't get the role because someone embodied it better. I had that happen too. I I, I thought that one person was going to be good for this, and it turns out someone else was better. And that's just, just how how it goes. Make sure you take a sip. Hydration is important, especially if you are um, in one of the very hot places this week. Um, for the first time, Marissa says, I have multiple chapters of the translation project waiting for me to work on. It's a bit overwhelming and I miss my own novel. Yes, I love this perspective, but I guess this means I'm getting closer to the end. Yes. Yes, Marissa. Yes. The end is in sight, I hope. I hope. Mm, yeah, editorial writing is super fun, Tim. You're going to have a blast. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Let's see. Oh, no. Damien says, with 19 roles in season two, I don't just get to make a role for folks anymore. There are already way too many cogs on this wheel. Yeah. You know, and, and I... I cast certain people for Girl in Space and like some of them are not able to return for season two because it really wasn't a priority project for them to begin with. Um, so I think there's something to be said about like letting the process work for you. I appreciate that. Good. Drayton is querying your novel to agents. Good. You've had a request for the full manuscript so far. Very excited. Yes. <laughs> Liliana had an attack of the cats. Um, I'm familiar with that. Midori calmed down and is sleeping off. I don't know if you can see her over here. Let's see in the corner right here. Yeah, there she is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, she is sleeping off her vet visit. <laughs> Takes a lot out of you. Takes a lot out of you. Oh gosh, yeah. Steffer says, opera singer to data entry clerk to IT project manager. What a run I've had. Yeah. Yeah. If you, uh, yeah. If you would have asked me like, you know, back in the day, like, what do you think you're going to end up doing? I would have never, ever thought I would be podcasting. That does not count as hydration, but it does sound delicious. That does sound delicious. <laughs> Already out of tea. Oops, time to make some more, Sarah. Yes. Um, yes, Marissa is amazing. I second this. 
Um, oh, I know. Allie says, my list of actors I really want to work with is so long. Yes. Oh, I totally get that. Need to make more money so I can make larger shows with all the actors I adore. Yes. Monies, monies, monies. Fin finances. I need to get the funding. Give us funding so that we can cast. We can all cast Jeff Goldblum. That's that's just really what we all want, I think. Doing a PC reset. Forsaken Fallen is having some struggles. I hope that you get things settled out with your computer. That's really frustrating. So I know what a few of you are working on tonight. Um, keep the keep the chat coming. Uh, let it let me know what you're working on tonight. In the meantime, if this is your first time here, um, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I will always be glad that you are here. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's great that you're here. The way this works is we usually get together, we talk for a little bit, just like we're doing now. We we see how everybody in the community is doing, what people are working on, and then we do a create along. And so how that happens is we sit down just like we're doing, or if you have a standing desk, or if you're out for a jog, you know, you can do whatever you want. Um, we hang out and we work on stuff together. Uh, so tonight, um, I actually got my newsletter written ahead of time. Ah. And so I'm going to be working on my girl in space planning on my giant notepad. Uh, and I'm also going to be, uh, I, I did an episode of the Right Now podcast with, if you haven't listened to Marguerite Croft, uh, their episode came out last, I think, Wednesday or Thursday. And then this week, um, Jameson Reidenauer from Palimpsest. Uh, I got to interview him. He's also a professor of horror and gothic literature and just had a lot of great stuff to say about writing and genres and all sorts of amazing things. So I'm going to be putting the final touches on that interview and then jumping over to Girl in Space. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Good. Might have to dip out. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And oh, that's another thing I like to say. Uh, come and go as you like. Um, you do not have to stay here for the entire time. If dinner is calling you, if your mom is calling you, um, if you just found out you won the lottery, like go do your thing. If you have to take your cat to the vet, life happens and we all love and respect that. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to work on some stuff. Uh, we usually do that for about an hour. So we will come back. It is currently 7.30 PM central. So we'll come back at 8.30 PM central. I'll get our banner here ready. So we're going to be working together. I know it says writing and most of you are probably, well, many of you are writing, I guess. Enough that it can just say writing until 8.30. Uh, but when 8.30 comes around, you will hear the beautiful sound <laughs> of the Alpenhorn, uh, which will summon you back to our creative community here for a little bit of a conversation. Again, it's very, it's very free for all. Um, you don't have to come back. If you find it at 8.30 p.m., which is also 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 8.30 p.m. Central, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, if you find at that time that you are just in the flow of things and you are, or you're editing or you're going through 600 auditions um, and you find that you're just in the flow, you don't have to come back, you can keep me on mute, whatever, um, do, what, do what you need to do. That being said, um, also, if you don't have anything to work on tonight, this is okay. Um, if you feel like you have the energy to work on something, I encourage you to uh, dig up some crocheting, some knitting, uh, try out Jimmy's um, Friday uh, writing prompts. So there's a channel in our Discord. I think it's in the inspiration channel where every Friday our very own Jimmy posts a writing prompt. So if you want a prompt, you can go check that out. There's some really good ones there, backlogged, including one from this Friday this past Friday. Um, or if you do not feel like it is a good idea to create today, like if you've had a long day, if you are burned out, if you've just had people like pushing on you to create and produce all week or all month, and you just need a night off, please take this time off. Uh, you can stare at the wall, open a window, breathe in the hot stifling air, do some watercolor painting, um, doodle, journal, listen to music, chill out, take a nap, play Stardew Valley. This time is your time to do whatever you need to do to refresh your creative spirit. So yeah, Takara says I'm just resting tonight. Um, oh, it's Canada Day tomorrow. Man, can 
Canada just always has holidays. My brother lives in Canada now and it's just like every day he's like, oh, it's Canada day. I think there's like eight Canada days or maybe it's like a monthly thing. There's like just a monthly Canada day. Um, oh, thank you. Anne says, I love the Marguerite's advice about honoring the dreamer. Yeah, I did too. Marguerite is just, yeah, a really cool person. So, so yeah. <laughs> Jimmy says, last Friday's prompt inspired many stories of much murder. Yes, it was very murdery. It was very good. Um, oh my gosh. In summary of one a month, it's just civic holiday. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys are killing me. All right. Uh, I'm going to get to work here. I'm going to put on headphones and just finish up the finishing touches, which is redundant, uh, on uh, Jamie's episode, which I'm going to have out for people, I think, tomorrow or Friday. I know I'm running behind. But in the meantime, I'm going to mute myself. Feel free to play music. Feel free to keep chatting in the chat. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. All right.
Hey friends. It is the Alpenhorn. I know, Stuffer says that time went by fast. I know. I did not get everything done that I wanted to get done. But how was it? How was it for everyone else? Um, it looks like there was some great conversation going on. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, I'm like scrolling back through. There's a lot going on. Terry was falling asleep. I totally get it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, you guys are all so amazing. Lasagna ice cream. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to shut down things without trying them. But I also wouldn't want to try that. Not to be mean. But, yeah. Oh, gosh. Mike says I have to go. So I can see my wife for the first time since this morning. Um, I got going good. I got going again 600 words, and I think I'm back on track. Mike, yes. I love it. Good. I'm proud of you. That's amazing. <sighs> good. You got a theme for your article this month, Tim. I love it. Good. Uh, Stuffer says, got some good feedback from Mike uh, about episode one of Spectre. Good. Made some updates to the final draft, smoothing episode seven. Good progress. I love it. Yes. Yes, everyone. <sighs> yeah, I sent out my girl in space update. I, um, I had to go through and like bleep the swears out of this interview up, uh, that's coming out. So I put a little, little beeps in, um, oh good. Fingers crossed. Yes. That job application is done. Sarah. Yes. Get it. JC Fab says working in a sci-fi short story, 200 words. Beautiful, beautiful. Mike says, I've added more auditions to the season three pile and sent an email to someone in this group letting them know they got the part. Ooh, ooh, that's exciting. Some, some drama. I like this. I also, I don't know if you can see this. I've got Midori is just, <laughs> she's here for the scritches. Yes, Leslie is on Twitch now. I love it. Welcome. Hi. Anna's finished, almost finished with the second piece of the couch pillow cover. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> Tim says, I like shows that replace the standard beep sound effects with something silly like ducks quacking or car horns. I like that. Oh, I kind of want to do that now. I'm not going to go back and do all that work again, but like, I'll keep that. I'll keep that in mind. I might not make it a car horn just in case like people are listening to the show, like while they're driving to work and they're like, ah, who's honking at me? Um, but yeah, watch drawing videos on YouTube. Takara, that sounds really, really nice. And that sounds really creatively fulfilling. 400 words for Simply Wisty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, I also got, I got cut off in the midst of um, doing the, the cover art, the show art for this episode. So I keep like, I'm like, oh, I could just finish that up real quick. But then it would be like weird and silent again. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was just four, but like, I already, it's the thing was it like took me a long time to export it and just, I don't, I don't want to do that again. So. So yeah, good. Forsaken Fallen, it looks like your computer woes are maybe finally wrapping up. I love to hear that. Um, good. Liliana says, unfortunately, I only wrote about one and a quarter of a page, but I'm really happy with where my story is going. Good. So far, I feel like my novel has been somewhat boring and hasn't really gone anywhere. So I'm glad to be finally making some progress. Good. Yeah, it'll come a page at a time. And I have to remember that too. I get I get really easily frustrated with how I how slowly I perceive the project is moving along. And making peace with that and finding patience with yourself can be really difficult. Um 
So know that we're here cheering for you and that it is a similar frustration for many of us. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, Mike says I've had that happen before when a show has police sirens and freak out a little bit thinking I get, I'm getting pulled over. Yeah, or like gunshots or a scream. Oh, or um, I was listening to, I don't know, some some show where they were like walking through the woods and they were like snapping twigs. And I was like, I was on a walk outside and I was like, who is following me? Cause like I kept hearing these like twigs cracking and it was like super creepy. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's nice. Good reading, making dinner for my parents. Good. Deb, I love that. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah. So I try to I try to keep the right now podcast like PG rated just because there's like a lot of people who listen to it with their families. Like I have I have kids who listen. Um, so yeah, but yeah, you can't really censor real life. <laughs> Drayton says, I did research on Leonardo da Vinci, who will make a guest appearance in my next beer fiction story. That's awesome. Liliana says, I started the book about three years ago when I was 10, and I was so formal sounding and dainty. Yes, as weird as it might sound in the novel before I edit it, I feel like my novel needs to go in a darker direction. You know, our, our voice as an author changes as we change. Like, and like, I'm 37, I think. Yeah, I'm like one of those years. And like, my voice is still developing and changing like as a writer. And I think that that's something that um, will keep happening. Yeah, and it's really, it's really cool to see your voice changing. Um, and to be able to look back like a couple of years and say like, Oh, wow, it was really formal sounding and dainty. And like, now I feel more fluid or more free with my language. Uh, it can be really cool to take a look at that and see how you're growing. So that's awesome. I love that. Let's see. Tania says, I didn't get any writing done, but I got clean after swimming and then I created dinner, which is creative in itself. Next up for me, we'll be finishing the main central section of the quilt I've been quilting for about four and a half years. Wow. That's one thing I love is like everyone in this group is so multi-talented. Like, Tim and I were actually talking about this over dinner. It's like, like Tim, Tim like wrote the audio drama and, and he's like editing and sound designing it. And we were, do, we were having this discussion over this beautiful dinner that he made, like roast chicken and Dutch apple pie from scratch. Like everyone is so, and you guys are all like crocheting and writing and podcasting and doing all of these cool things. Like, I love that. I love like multi-creative, multi-passionate people. Like that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Makes you want to pick drawing back up? Totally. Do it, Takara. Carmen says, I couldn't think of words, so I gave up and watched TV. Sometimes you need to just stop. Yeah. Sometimes you need to um, gauge like, how's my energy doing? How's my well? Do I need to like fill up a little bit? Like, am I trying to draw from an empty well? Am I trying to squeeze, squeeze water out of a dry sponge or a stone or what have you? Um, sometimes there's just nothing there and we have to, we have to respect that. Like our, our, our brains are these beautiful paradoxes of, of simultaneously like limitless imagination and ideas, but we also, it's like a physical thing that runs on energy <laughs> and we need to, we need to recharge our brains. And so good. I hope it was, I hope it felt good to watch TV and whether you watch something completely mindless or something with like a good story. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Right. I also, yeah, I also do not. Uh, yeah. That's the other thing is I kept the right now podcast, um, clean or whatever clean, I think it's called. Um, because explicit shows are censored in other countries. And so like, if I want the right now podcast to be played in India, um, or China, like to get past the censors, like it has to have a clean rating. 
Um, so that, that just allows my shows to have a broader, a broader reach. So, I mean, and like, that's not a concern for everybody. Um, and, and sometimes like having swearing as part of the show or as part of the personality, but I was just like, eh, I'll have a clean show. Like, that's fine. Yeah. Like Jimmy says, yeah. And if you listen at work and like other people are listening, you probably want it to be like work appropriate language. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very profane. Yeah. Well, Mike and Steffers are talking about, Mike says my show and me shocker I know is very profane <laughs> and stuffers yeah like yeah colorful language um it's just it, what does the story need and 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 what do you want to prioritize like it, it's it's just a really personal it's a really personal choice um and there's definitely things to like you know when I when when I was shopping around girl in space um a lot of people were like weirded out by it because it was clean so they're like is this for kids and i'm like well no um because people like die and there's some like hard topics and like a lot of existential existential like crises and stuff i was like it's girl in space isn't for kids it's just like family appropriate so like if the parents are listening to it, they don't have to worry, you know, but like, there's a lot of confusion in, in, in TV talks about like, is this a YA show? Is this a children's show? Like, what is your show, Sarah? And I was like, it's for everyone. And that didn't really go over well because they wanted it to be like, like, if this is an adult show, we need to put some swears in it. And I was like, Oh, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. And whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. It's weird making those choices. Um, yes, had to, Mar Marissa says, I had to research how long it takes for a body to decompose. And in the search bar, I added for a novel. So the police don't come knocking on my door. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I get a little nervous about that. Leslie says, I brainstormed ideas for a new project, but through the brainstorm writing, I see clear parallels to the project that I'm avoiding completing. Oh, oh, Leslie, that struggle is real. Yes, but at least you're writing through it all. And maybe a bridge is being built between those two projects, or maybe your brain is telling you that you don't want to be working on that current project the project you're avoiding and yet you're still trying to let your brain is like subconsciously still trying to solve those issues with it so oh that's that's fascinating that's fascinating oh it's good to see you tim it's good to see you yeah if you have to jump off um that's totally fine i always like to say this like super informal um so yeah when you need to you can jet um oh yeah yes mike says i've had the issue where i have so much going on through my mind on what i want to create that it all blends together like a fresh watercolor painting in a thunderstorm vivid yes very vivid i have like separate notebooks for each of my projects where i write down ideas but i also have some crossover and i'm like oh i really want to use that phrase here but i should save it for this other project but like I mean, a lot of what we create has through lines, you know? Um, oh, there's a beautiful quote, and I don't remember who said this, um, but the quote is, it, it was by a poet, and, and the quote is that, like, in a sense, every poem that you're writing is one poem, you know? Like, all of the stories that you tell are, are in a sense, like one ongoing story because they're coming from you as a creator and it's all your story. Um, so those, those through lines get really, really interesting. That's really interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really like, yeah. And, and Tim makes a point too about like, there's, yeah, Omen has violence. I don't want kids listening, even if the language is clean. Yeah. So it's, I don't know. Rating systems are, they're so arbitrary. Must go parent. <laughs> All right, Tania. Enjoy your evening. 
Yeah, uh, Googling examples. Uh, what would happen if you tried to sneak onto an airfield and stole away on a plane? Like, yeah, these are the things that, yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Leslie says it was for everyone. Well, thank you. Yes. Oh, and uh, can we make sure that Leslie gets added to the Discord? That would be lovely. Marissa says, I love learning about everyone's talents. Whenever we eventually have a writer's retreat, yes, we'll have to have workshops on the side. Oh, that's a great idea about crocheting, jewelry making, baking, drawing, etc. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. I love that idea. I want to learn from everyone. Love it. I love it. Oh, wow. Jimmy, that's great. Jimmy says, remember that weird 400 word story I wrote last Wednesday? I wrote another 400 word story related to it that's even more odd. Heck yes. Jimmy, that's amazing. You are just, you're writing so much and I'm so excited. Oh, thank you. Liliana says, I wanted to thank you for your advice in the Right Now podcast about the most important question a writer can ask. I feel like it's really helped me to make my book more interesting because I'm starting to do what I really believe is the most interesting thing that can happen next instead of just what would be easiest or what would be the least scary or dark. Oh, Josephine, I love that. I love I love knowing that the that the work I do is actually helpful. So thank you. Thank you for saying that. I'm really, really glad it helped. Um, oh, that's lovely. Oh, good night, JC Fabs. It's great to see you. <laughs> Deb says, I'll crochet up a pan of lasagna. Are you crocheting up a pan of lasagna or like lasagna flavored ice cream? I don't know. I don't know about this. Oh my gosh. Uh, I would love that, Steffers. Language acquisition class, opera, music theory. Let's just start a university. <laughs> let's let's just let's just start a university. Oh yeah, Sarah. Uh, Sarah says I can teach jewelry making. Um, fantastic. You guys are amazing. Uh, Jimmy says, I've worked for police departments for more than 32 years. I've definitely asked more than my share of very macabre and crime related questions. Uh, one evening, my duty officer, a counter sniper on the agency's SWAT team, and I talked for three hours about how we'd pull off the perfect sniper crime. So, you know, Jimmy, that puts you in proximity of like a lot of really good research. Just saying, um, having those people like available to talk to. Uh, Takara says, I just posted a new poem called Good Vibes Only on the Discord. Lovely. Yes, if you have work that you'd like to share with the group, uh, there is a channel on Discord called Show Your Work, and I encourage you to show your work and show it off. Oh, oh, that's horrifying. The DC sniper did pretty much what you came up with. That's weird and very scary. Yeah, that's 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 horrifying. Yeah. Right now, university. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tim's getting nervous. Tim says my show has snipers. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah. I know it's so sunny outside and I'm like, why am I tired? Because it's almost 9 p.m. And it's been quite a day. Um, just just quite a day. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy that you came by and that you decided to spend some of your Wednesday evening with this group. Um, thank you. This is, that's just such a beautiful gift and such a beautiful act of generosity to come and share your time with this community. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, what can I say? What can I say? What else can I say? But thank you. Um, if, uh, if you've never done one of these before, I hope this was fun. Uh, I hope that you continue to join us. We meet and do these create-alongs every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. So that starts at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. And we go for like an hour or two-ish. Uh, and we just have some like convo and some creative time and... And it's just really nice. Uh, in the meantime, please do join us over on the Discord. Um, I know. <laughs> 
Mike says, I'm still getting adjusted to seeing sunlight in your window while it's dark behind me. I know it's weird. I know. I know. It's it, it's setting though. Like you can see like the, there's like, it's, it's going down. It'll, it'll be down. It'll be down soon. But, um, I have no idea what I was just saying. I got distracted by the pretty sunset. <laughs> oh, that's right. We do this every week. Come hang out with us. If you can't make it a week or if you need to take some time off, that's totally fine. We'll still be here. Um, if during the week you get lonely and sad, you can find replays of these live streams, both on Twitch Twitch only keeps them for like 15 days, but they are also available over on YouTube. You can rewatch uh, the live streams over there as much and as often as you like. So if like in the middle of the week, you're just like, well, I guess the middle of the week is Wednesday when we're doing this live. So like if the beginning or the end of the week or over the weekend, you're like, I just need some creative community. Come join us retroactively uh, and, and check out the live streams, uh, the replays. So. All right. I'm going to let you go. Thank you for being here. Oh, thanks to Cara. Um, yeah, you guys are awesome. I will see you next Wednesday. And until then, please take care of yourselves. Give us a, a quick shout out and say hello in the Discord if you haven't done so already. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. All right, friends. <laughs> Bye for now.